Naga, and you're just Five both right up there in whatever carries face. And that means Flipside have to go for a, a longer range hero. Going for a melee here is actually very dangerous here. The cost of getting up in this nice early aggressive lane, Kezu not afraid to kind of look to go for that first burrow strike, but they will not claim their first victim. First victim of the game will actually go towards the way the neutrals will be for it. Uh, Definitely getting pushing yourself to get in that level three is when you can really make that good first power spike in the early game, having that level two hook. But here they go, a nice arrow connection is going to be on the Yapsor. They'll follow it up with a kinetic field. Then there's the burrow with Thunderstrike on top. Is it going to be enough potential to get the finish? It will, and it's going to be Escape Gaming who strike first. Because you get a lot more farm than it would be unless like a one v three off laner. But that doesn't really matter by comparison. Oh, and, and this is going to eat the arrow. That might oh, be a kill. Oh, no. Yaps with a beautiful setup. He's going to be in the poor position to make the first strides here. It helps connect for Koikva to be able to say the hook from the Pudge. Fortunately, will not find its target as Cinderin will be able to sidestep it. And now it could be the Pudge in a bit of trouble here. Thunderstrike, Burrow. A glimpse could be there if Cinderin thinks it's necessary. Instead, we'll have to use it onto TMW to pull him back away. They will be able to get the finish onto Roger. But Cinderin is going to be the next one in trouble. He gets taken down, AM will pick up that one, and it'll be a 1 1 apiece. It's really annoying here. Shotzo is actually just following Era and oh, it's still going bottom. Yeah, it looks like they were able to connect with an arrow here on the Vance Core. And that means Yapter will be able to move and gets the Starfall and gets that kill. And we're not done yet. Roger moves and gets the hook. Pulls Kezu right back into his arms, looking to go for a bit of redemption here. There is going to be a Burrow strike out, though, and it looks like they might be able to create the bit of space. But Roger's got another hook in about four seconds. Yapsor is going to be forced to kind of force Roger back, but with TMW stepping in, now looking for the target. Oh, oh no! Again. He set off the hook a bit too late. Kezu already burrow straight out and away, and that's going to lead to his own takedown, though. He actually gets the suicide off just in time, but another unfortunate situation could have led to a kill! Oh, oh my man. god! Yapsor with the snipe gets the starfall. Vanscore tries to help out with the Fate Edict, but yeah, the auto attack was already there. Sunstrike, nice connection from Dendi. I was trying to catch the target there at the end, but Kezu's not seeing enough really come out for their side. In fact, we're going to see Escape make their move onto Dendi, who just been used his Midas, but now he's going to lose his life. Walk in, straight up Burrow, straight up Epi. Dendi will try his best to ghost walk and creep out the other side, but unfortunately, it's a bit too slow with the Epi slowdown, and of course, the ghost walk, he cannot get out. Oh, get easy pick up on Cinderin though. It's going to be shot slow, just opening up with your most basic of Nyx combos and being able to TP away from Era. Meta, you don't get the blink and then yeah. get the smoke. You have to get the smoke and then get the blink. Oh, you know? but it breaks early, so it, it looks does. like it's going to go. I hope this goes well for them. Oh, he actually nice. gets hooked! Grab for Roger here. Pulls Kezu to the tower. Sorry. He doesn't manage to get the blink at the last second, so he will be able to hold on to that bit of gold. But here comes the comeback. Up front side. They'll make it two. Emphatic. Manavoid comes out on the center. Things that they kind of need before they can actually address this Naga Siren. And we're going to hear an epicenter blink coming out on the top lane. Shotso doesn't get the care of Will be going down very quickly. If uh, not for the Caustic doing uh, enough damage to kill him off. It was close. It was really close. Uh, Beautiful time BM pause for either team, so that's probably going to be put on the wayside for the future. But uh, now rotations are coming in from Flip and Escaper moving down there. Ooh. They move in, they get a nice glimpse to send back out and away. The Oracle, Roger, uh, looks like a man isolated and alone, will be taken down. Both Dendi and TMW are not going to have... Always building momentum, they're always getting a firmer grasp on the game. If they're just delaying Flipside's strategy and killing off Roger like that, we'll accomplish this. Back behind the tower, Kezu's feeling a bit frisky, makes the move for Dendi. Dendi walks back and away, he's going to be able to get the Sun Strike off. Will connect on the era, has to go into Ghost Walk, but they see him, and they're pouncing for him. They're going to be able to get him down, and now they look for the follow-up. Shot glow. no one in Viz is safe. Sentries are down, Detections in full force. Nice last second save there by Vanscore, he's going to be able to get off the False Promise. I don't know if enough damage has been through. Okay. Yep, Purifying Flying Flames are going to be coming through, so he should be fine. But back on the other side, they are going to be able to take the Mirana down. Kezu jumps back in, gets off the Burrow Strike, eats a Mana Void though, and they're going to be able to start shredding him forward. Era makes the approach for TMW. Night Space Edict will prevent any sort of right-click damage, but then he quickly shrugs it off with that Pact, and now looks to go for the finish. Nice clinch by him, a double kill for Era. Roger stringing together a couple of kills for himself, but it looks like he will ultimately hand them back over. Era secures it with a triple at the end, and it looks like TMW to be able to slow their roll of farm because they're just already doing so much work outside of Koikva. And they're not done yet. Jump in, Kezu. A man on a mission here. Nice connection with the Burrow will lead to the arrow, but that will mean Kezu gets hooked himself. Put back in behind. Sunstrike will help get the finish. It's going to be flip side with their own counterplay and response. Roger unable to find a couple of the hooks in the early game, but they're slowly coming together here and now. 
but they still will need more. Shashko looking to move in. Nice strike onto Yapter. We'll be able to connect. And the hook once again comes out from Roger Boy. And he'll be able to pull that one home. Two kills the way up with side. Nice little play there. Um, but we're going to see the Static Storm and Kinetic onto Dendi. And he will be brought down once again. Always having a sentry ward. They're getting in the face. And if Escape were even to kind of be on the slightly bad end of these trades, the big grand scheme of things is that Quake must farm it and do it. Back in mid lane era, has been able to make the move for Roger. And he easily shreds him apart. That big man. He falls, and he falls hard. And Era is going to be able to just, again, skate away and be this nuisance. I want to move away, thing, but uh, it's going to be Era who goes for the disengage and realizes he just won't be able to get the job done. But uh, the one thing that I'm noting here is, as we just see Era just constantly on the roam, and actually it's going to be anti -Bage killed off on top thanks to a Sand King and a Yapsor Arrow combo. All that happens, they're... Still looking to go in for Era, who's been a real pain in the ass here for Flipside. It looks like they may have finally been able to get their chance at grabbing him down, but as I say that, Syndra steps in, drops down the Static Storm, and now it's looking to be Escape's kind of a game. Just as Roger shows up, he gets sent right back home by Cinder and multiple plays coming out from him. Sunstrike not going to be on the mark. Fans are looking to retreat, but they catch him with the burrow. Roger moves in. Can he get the hook? No. Not going to be able to wait on their lineup. It was kind of an anchor holding them down. In, in actuality, the laning phase was set up so that it would almost yeah. be a guaranteed trajectory to the mid game and therefore the late. Wonderful showing for Escape to be able to kind of Radiant dictate what they want out of the overall big picture through that early laning <laughs> phase. And Yapsor quickly realizing that there is just nowhere safe. As he goes down, so does his Nick just on a very short time frame. You see TMW, he's trying to cut creep waves. He's farming on the dire side by the, the secret shop. He's just trying to get anything he can while he can. But at the end of the day, he's so far behind. Looks like they've uh, spotted Roger as he's hooked in Cinderin. Cinderin is going to be forced to pop out the static storm and everything, but he will lose his own life. Luckily, Kezu will be there as a strong teammate to be able to find the revenge your path to, to the victory or even to holding the, their own side of the map like they're on fully on the defense with heroes uh -oh. that are meant to play at this stage of the game we got a six leg on six leg fight breaking out here between Kezu and Shashklo Kezu looking to make the move in they end up walking themselves into a two-man stun Air is able to find a kill himself all the meanwhile but we'll keep action here at the top lane as Kezu not gonna be able to make it away tries to blink out but there's a purifying flames there waiting for him are doing work yeah he's still doing it top lane Jumping for Satchel here. False props keeps him alive for now, but it's just delaying the inevitable as he'll eventually pop from the bubble. And then Roger, though, jumping in. It's a nice little trade. Finding Gapsor here. Looking for the grab on the arrow. Uh, and blocked again. once more. Dendi, come on. You're, you're, you are a punch player here. Get out of the line of fire. Roger's so upset about it, he just throws himself into the enemies, and he ends up going down in the rest of escape. Uh, the anti -mage. Still sitting on the Yasha here. A gem of true sight coming up for Vanscore. I like that. Uh, has a better way to spawn to the start than just center ward. Oh man, Dendi, it's he put out a really strong showing in game number one under the timber saw. We understand he is put in a situation where he's oh, again! Arrow! <laughs> arrow with two! He gets two arrows right now! Oh. And this one might lead to his demise! Cinder and catches with the static storm, with the kinetic field. They got the better strike. The glimpse is gonna be there and they'll pull him back and away. Sorry, TMW. You gotta go back into the trees where you belong. Three and be taking Darrow. Unbelievable. I cannot believe that. I mean, yes, it was set up with the fact that AM was farming with his TP on cooldown, moving him out of, about the map, but finding him in the tree line three times. Oh. Absolutely. And they battle it out with the big boy. Man, this is just going to be the, the recipe they need to go up to the high ground. They have an Aegis and a Silver Edge on the Slark. He can blink it. Looking to close out this series, the 1-1 one, one split, and... That could lead to, unfortunately, Flipside being taken out mathematically. Kez is going to be off the mark with the Burrow, but Roger eats just a wealth of damage and will be put into the grave. No defensive punch for at least 40 seconds time. Nice looks back will send Shotgun under and into the Static Storm. There will be a save of the False Promise, but that means it's not going to be there for the AM or anyone else moving forward. Era's already gone to work. He gets rid of the Oracle after he gets everything off he needs. And I think this King of Koifa has helped pressure down the mid lane at the same moment. Help being spread thin on the side of flip side. Oh, it's Joshua hiding underground. Is able to kind of help with a bit of regen, but Era's like, you know what, while you're under there, just stay down there. I'll bury you alive. Puts him down and under. They're going to get the follow-up as Dendi will also be there to drop. Rax is on the bottom lane, now exposed. Escape will claim their first lane.
Yeah, and it's just re uh, running them over. He's got so much agility stolen. He's got 14, 0, and 7. He's gotten everything he wanted out of this game. They planned it out extremely well in terms of how the lanes would play out, and, and they just went from there. Terrorize. to put pressure out with this anti-mage, but when he has such a bad start, and when Naga and Slark get exactly what they want out of the beginning of the game, it's escapes game all the way, and they're going to even go for the glimpse. Nope. It's ah, going to be mad to dodge. Very nice. Nice, nice time. Nice. I like that. I'll give him points for that little Wudota moment. But uh, I'm afraid it's not enough. One man to dodge does not. But he gets that final victory. smile, that little smirk. He's like, I lost the game, but at least I got to do that cool man to dodge. But I think Yasuor gets the props for the cool play there at the end, of course. Nonetheless, Escape about to claim their second set of action eventually the game here. Cocktails looking, looking to move in for any sort of defense is welcomed by a new Static Storm. And that will do it. 1-1 one, one split for our first BO2 of the day. And I believe that will mean that, unfortunately for Flipside, they will only be walking out from this group stage with one, two points now already. So I don't know. I'll have to look this over a bit closer and see, but they may be out. I mean, we already have friends with with a 2-0. Actually, I guess it, you don't know. If friends lose all their games, let's say Yellow Submarine's 2-0 friends, the problem is, when you have a match between two teams, one of them's going to win. So, two points <laughs> does not uh, a group stage make, I'm afraid. And I think yeah. 